And truck owners and operators around Apapa have expressed readiness and willingness to work with the government agencies as construction work commenced on the Apapa Ushudi Warunshuki Expressway. The owners under the ages of amalgamated container truck owners association of nigeria say energy and synergy between its members and security agencies will help in clearing the gridlock and ensuring uh, minimum disruption as contractors and contract contractors uh, begins work on the road a correspondent has more details in the support apapa oshudi or in shuki expressway is the gateway to the nation's premier ports complex the apapa ports it is also the gateway to all businesses in Nigeria in both exporting and importing of goods. For many years, the deplorable state of the road and the attendant dysfunction that led to the taking over of most of the roads by trucks of various shapes and sizes has left many wondering whether the situation will ever be addressed. But with the flag off of the construction of the road by President Mohamed Buhari through the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Baba Tunde Fashola, in November, 2018 and the actual commencement of works a few weeks back, many have wondered what will happen to the trucks and the gridlock created by their presence on the road. Olaleye Thompson is an operator and chairman of the Association of Truck Owners at the Ports Complex. The only solution is for every one of us, all the truck owners, to go back to the parks. We suggested the idea of parks to then uh, call up uh, uh, idea. But it's not well managed. It's not well managed in the sense that when we all agree that all the trucks should go back to the yard, our members, you know, they all, you know, respect the directive. We went back to the park. But we found out that Dangote, Bua, HSC, and others, they're still on the road. And you know, drivers, the moment they say that, okay, you ask us to leave the road, but these people are back on the road. They say, okay, no, we just have to join them. So that's the major problem. Then number two, the I don't think both the association and the security agencies are not on the same page. We need to be sincere. The association is trying to make sure that its members have their way to do their business. Some the security agencies see the opportunity, I mean they see it as an opportunity for them to make money. He added that what is required is synergy between its members and security agencies deployed to maintain order around the complex. The best way is both the security agencies and the association, they have to form to, they have to work together. There must be that synergy there for both of us to work together. And there must be respect for one another. That okay, what do we do? Like we submitted a list of the association, I think about 45. The, the parks. Yeah. Yes, the parks. Yes, about the, 40. The, the parks that uh, were recognized, you know, about as, four. Uh, uh, that could be functional, yeah. 45. Well, at the end of the day, but what we have is two or something. Yeah. something. So how do you expect two or something parks to work? They cannot. So we met Admiral Ayo. We suggested to him that look, this thing cannot work with the present situation of things. And the mass is present with us. He said, okay, let's give it a try. And we said, okay, the control and movement of trucks should be under the association. He also called on the federal government to take a closer look at the activities of port operators. If those areas is a bit manageable, there won't be any reason for anybody to go into uh, Wima Crescent, Oludia Papa, and stuff. But because that side is not possible at all, every time, in fact, on a, on daily basis, you record an accident of two, three vehicles, you know, falling down on that road. So instead of going through that place, some people say, ah, there's road in a boundary, Wilma, let's follow the area. That's the problem. So if government can introduce a little bit of palliative, like I mentioned in that meeting that day, things will be better. Part of the uh, 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 they like the incentive of accepting the, you know, the, the containers they ought to receive because of the deposits are the, are the demolage on the containers. Whether they work or not, once the, once the containers are out there, they charge on the containers daily. They charge on the demo rate of the containers, the imports. If you don't go and, if you don't go and pick them on time. So whether they work, pick them on time. if you don't pick them on time, they charge you daily. If you don't return to the containers on time, you'll be charged daily. 
So, you know, <laughs> they are like uh, on their own. The, the, the Nigerian, Nigerian shipping company, they are supposed to regulate them too. They are very place too. In fact, uh, lack of regulation. Yes, regulatory authorities. No. Supers council and MPA. MPA yes. yes. The other principal, yes. Yes. To regulate them, to make them do what they're supposed to do. Because um, the effect on the economy, you, know, is, you can't quantify it. Most importers now, they patronize the neighboring countries, the small, small countries, and they bring in their goods in small, small lots. They are supposed to be the all of West Africa. But goods no coming. No. Most of the goods go to where uh, as far as uh, um, Ivory Coast. They are supposed to be coming to Nigeria. As far as Abidjan. Yeah? They go and throw them in Abidjan. You know, they feel them supposed to us to Nigeria. Ghana is there, Kutan is there. They're supposed to be the up. The association also called on the federal and state governments to regulate the activities of revenue agencies of local government councils within the area, who it said are feeding fact on the situation.